Today, we're installing your new Eco Battery Lithium Battery for a Club Car Precedent, Tempo, and Onward variants. Your battery bundle should include the following items an Eco Battery Lithium Battery, Charger, optional DC to DC 12 volt converter, CAN LCD meter, and a Club Car Precedent charge port. Block the cart and set the parking brake to prevent the cart from rolling. Turn the key to the off position. Remove the seat by tilting and lifting it straight up. Place the run tow switch in the tow position. Photograph the existing battery compartment. Identify and label the main positive cables, main negative cables, and any additional wiring associated with the batteries. If applicable, remove the battery watering system. Clean any spills with a disposable rag and safely discard them. Using a 14mm socket, remove the main negative and main positive cables from the batteries. Remove the remaining cables connecting the batteries. Using a 16mm socket, remove the two battery hold-down nuts and washers. Remove the battery hold-down brackets. Carefully remove the batteries. Remove the battery hold-down J-hooks and set them aside for later use. If your battery compartment is dirty, take the opportunity to clean the area. Remove the two T40 Torx bolts and plastic clips securing the rocker panel on each side of the cart. Grab the panel and pull it straight outward, popping the panel out of the retaining clips. Remove the rubber floor mat. Remove the two T30 bolts at the front and rear of the seat base. Locate the charging port cover release tabs. Insert a small screwdriver or pick in the release tabs and carefully pry the outside ring off. Remove the three T40 bolts securing the trim panel below the charging port. While lifting up the body at the seat base, roll the bottom of the trim piece forward and out. Remove and retain the three Phillips screws securing the charging port. Remove the charging port through the hole towards the rear. Remove the T40 Torx screw holding the controller heatsink in place. Carefully tilt the mounting plate forward and pull it out into the battery compartment. Locate the factory charging port pigtail leading to the back side of the mounting plate components. Disconnect the three wires from their individual terminals and replace the hardware. You may need to remove a zip tie or two in order to separate the factory charge port wires from the rest of the harness. Remove and discard the charge port and the pigtail cables from the cart. Reinstall the mounting plate and T40 Torx screw. Using your factory hardware, install the Eco Battery charging port. Securely mount the Eco Battery Charger in a location safe from direct water spray. Maintain at least 6 inches of open space from the fan. Connect the gray Quick Connect connector to the corresponding connector on the charging port. If your cart has lights or 12 volt accessories, Install the 12 volt converter using the 12 volt converter quick start guide and the provided diagram. The guide is linked in the description below. Install the DC to DC converter in a convenient location. Connect the DC to DC wire harness to the DC to DC converter. Make sure that the connector snaps securely. Let's take a look at the connections on the converter harness. The small yellow wire connects to the main battery positive. The small black wire connects to the main battery negative. The larger red and black wires connect to your positive and negative 12 volt accessories. And finally, the orange wires should be connected to a key on power source. Remove the two T30 and one T15 Torx screws from the dash panel. Pull the dash panel down 
exposing the wiring harness track behind it. Route the orange DC to DC converter key on power wire and meter harness through the cable track towards the front of the cart and up through the dash panel that was just removed. Locate the dark blue constant power wire on the back of the key switch. Combine this blue wire and the orange DC to DC key on power wire together in a single spade connector or use a piggyback spade connector. Reinstall on the key switch terminal. The factory J-hook will secure the through-hole battery in a similar way as the stock lead-acid batteries as shown. Ensure the battery is off by pressing and releasing the power button until the green LED is off. Install the battery on the passenger side with terminals facing toward the center. This is our preferred orientation as OE length cables are suitable length. Align the center hole in the battery over the outer mounting location. Locate one of the factory J-hooks top mount plate, and 7 16th inch nut. Insert the J-hook down the center of the battery and hook it on the rod at the bottom. If the hook does not drop in easily, the horizontal rod under the cart may be seized or corroded. Loosen the rod by moving it front to back. While holding the rod in place from under the cart, install the mounting plate over the rod and secure it using the 7 16th inch nut. Torque to 10 foot pounds, do not over tighten. Referencing your 12 volt converter guide, complete the DC to DC wiring. Each cart is different depending on the model and accessories. In some instances, you may need additional connectors, distribution blocks, or tools to complete the installation. If you have questions, please contact your dealer. Secure any loose wires and cables. Route the charger cables towards the battery. Connect the main negative and associated negative wires to the battery. Cables and wires should be stacked in order of highest load to lowest load with the cables carrying the highest load placed closest to the terminal. Connect the main positive and associated power wires to the battery. Terminal bolts should be tightened no more than 8 foot-pounds, or 72 inch-pounds. Install the terminal covers. Connect the LCD meter harness to the battery, making sure to align the alignment tab on the battery and 90 degree connector. Connect the charger CAN cable to one of the two CAN connectors on the meter cable. It does not matter which connector you use on the meter cable. Secure any loose wires and cables. Decide which method you would prefer to use to mount your battery meter. A few examples are shown. Method 1, flush mount. Find a suitable location for the LCD battery meter. Before cutting any holes, Ensure that you can route the meter cable to this location and that there is sufficient clearance behind the meter. Use a 2 and 1 16th inch hole saw, 52 millimeters, to cut the hole for the meter or use the optional mounting bracket not included to mount the meter. To show the process, we will repeat these steps on and off the cart. Place your battery meter bracket to the back of the meter. Attach the supplied nuts. Plug the battery meter harness into the back of the meter. Then, fully secure your battery meter to the bracket. Method 2. Optional mounting bracket. Find a suitable location for the LCD battery meter. Before cutting any holes, ensure that you can route the meter cable to this location and that there is sufficient clearance behind the meter.
cut a hole large enough to route your harness connections. Use the optional meter mounting bracket and hardware to mount the meter. Method 3. Steering Column Mount Clamp the steering column mount at your desired height. Cut a hole in your dash to run your harness connections through. Make sure your harness can reach the battery meter. Then, fully secure your battery meter to the bracket. Then, route the cable to the back of the LCD meter and connect both white connectors to the back. Reinstall the dash panel and screws. Secure any loose cables in the floor cable track. Reinstall the rear body and kick panel. Reinstall the charging port trim. Reinstall the seat base screws. Reinstall the floor mat. Reinstall the kick panels and screws. Double check all wiring. If you are not 100% sure all wiring is correct, do not power on the battery. If you're confident the wiring is correct, power on the battery by pressing the on off button. Once the button is lit green, the battery is on and power is available. Turn the tow run switch to run. Reinstall the seat. Test the cart to ensure it moves when the throttle is pressed. Check the 12 volt accessory function. Charge the battery fully before any driving. The LCD meter will self calibrate to 100% after the first complete charge cycle. Note, the power button must be turned on while charging and discharging. Please refer to our user manual for additional information about the operation and care of your Eco Battery Lithium Battery.